she entered the bedroom <clears throat> while I was laying on my side of the bed, reading, and she was still rattling off all the wrongs I'd uh, done to her in that particular day and, and how unreliable I am and uh, what a, you know, what a horrible person I was. Um, and I, and I did not, I did not engage verbally nothing. I sat there or laid there reading my book and when that, when she didn't get a jump out of me or a jolt out of me, she got out of bed, she walked around the bed, she came to my side, and uh, again, the, the, you know, you, you, you've got, uh, you've got a person who is uh, throwing multiple shots at your at your face, at your head, at your neck, at your, at anything she could hit. So I, I got up out of bed and I grabbed her by the shoulders and I sat her down on the bed. <clears throat> and I said, I'm leaving. Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. And she got up off the bed and she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead, hit me. And then I just said, did that, is that what you wanted? Would you like another? Bam. There's the second one. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me. Leave me alone. I'm out. I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things, and I got out immediately, and I went to um, my other house on Sweetser. As Ms. Heard was, she was leaving the following day for uh, Coachella, which is a, 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 it's a, Coachella is like a, it's a big event, a concert, you know, many, many bands and, um, yeah, out in the desert. She, she, she and her friends were going to Coachella for the weekend. And um, that was it. That was, that was it. Mr. Depp, after April 21st, 2016, when was the next time that you actually saw Ms. Hurd in person? I left Miss Heard, well, I left Penthouse 3. I left at 4.30 in the morning uh, on, it was actually April, it was actually her birthday. It was four, about 4.30 in the morning, April 22nd. And that's when I left. And from that moment on, I did not see Ms. Heard until May 21st. And why was that? Um, I had received some news that was as absurd and grotesque and cruel um, and then I was shown a picture of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Bett and said uh, she's in Coachella, she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get 
some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were uh, uh, precious to me, you know, children things, things from friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, whatever, things that were important to me. And he said, I don't think now's a good time to go. And I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of... Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Also, you're saying. It, it's a photograph, Your Honor. As being relayed to him by Mr. Bett. He, he says he looked at it on his, fo on his phone. I'll overrule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, the, it was so outside, it was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. Mr. Depp, how